which industries, uh, sectors of the world, are you most excited to see the implementation of some of these ideas that you're working on? Yeah, I'm actually really excited for GAN-like models to start being used more in healthcare. Hmm. Uh, there's already some work on using GANs to generate structures of molecules to be used for medicine. And I think that that line of work will become more popular and start to have more impact. Uh, that's a lot of why I got into AI in the first place, was I, I thought about a lot of important problems in science that I could solve that would help people. And I realized that I could actually have more effect by working on the tools that would help all these domains. Um, healthcare is one of those domains that I'm glad to see that the machine learning work I've done is starting to be useful as a tool for actually helping to cure disease. Uh, so what have you enjoyed about this event and what are you learning from being at this event? Yeah, as a scientist, I like to come here and get an idea of which problems I should be solving for other people to benefit from. Uh, in my day-to-day -day life working at Google, I'm mostly used to interacting with other people who know how to solve machine learning problems for themselves. Here I get to come see what do people out in the business world want machine learning researchers to solve for them. Hmm. Um, today, a lot of people were really interested in the CycleGAN model. It can do things like turn a picture of a horse into a picture of a zebra. And a lot of people are asking about extensions of that, like using it for face swapping and um, I improving photos of groups of people where you could change individual faces. Uh, that's a level of granularity that researchers usually haven't looked at. And now I have an idea that that's something important we should think about. So you come here and people say, what can you do for me? Basically. <laughs> very good. All right, thank you very much. Yeah, very welcome.